joined today by Glenn Corey, CEO and Managing Director of Hazer Group. Glenn, thanks for your time. Good to see you, David. A climate tech company. That's right. A big claim, <laughs> but focused on commercial outcomes. Hazer's technology is, um, is very exciting. Uh, Hazer, for those that haven't um, followed us or not familiar with it, stands for Hydrogen and Zero Emissions Research. Um, it's a company that's been around for 17 years. $110 million has been invested in the technology, so a very advanced tech. We've successfully scaled the tech up five times. Um, so that's, you know, you can see how advanced uh, the technology is. We're at demonstration level, it's TRL7 that follow, for people that follow kind of technology readiness. And it's at that inflection point where it's ready to go commercial. Um, that's the most exciting part of the company at the moment. Um, the hydrogen market is massive. Um, it's about 100 million tonnes per annum. And most of that gets used for desulfurizing crude oil and ammonia production. Uh, all of that production today is what I refer to as dirty hydrogen. Um, and that's because every tonne of hydrogen produced is associated with 11 tonnes of CO2. That's our disruption. Our ability to substitute and replace a dirty technology with a clean one is effectively um, what our strategy is. A lot of headlines recently about big companies with big ambitions in the hydrogen space shelving those plans. Yep. It's important, that, and I understand it, and you understand it, but it's important for shareholders to understand there's a big differentiation here. That's right. I mean, I'm going to talk about our differentiation shortly, but I'm not surprised, to be honest, David, because our industry for a long time has been overshadowed by what I'd call quote-unquote green hydrogen. Um, we're moving away from colours, we're talking more about carbon emissions. Uh, green hydrogen projects are uh, very expensive. Why? Because splitting a water molecule is seven times harder than splitting a gas molecule. So you need seven times the energy, seven times the cost. And that's why these projects are struggling to get off the ground. Hazer is not splitting water, it's effectively decarbonising natural gas at a fifth of the cost of electrolyzer projects. So that's really our differentiation. Low energy intensity, uh, which is effectively a proxy for cost and low carbon footprint and a technology that's ready today to be deployed into heavy industry. And that's where we stand apart from all of the other hydrogen-based technologies out there today. Where to from here? What should investors be focusing on? Look, we're at the inflection point where we could take off at any time, if I'm honest. Um, the reason being the tech's proven. It's very advanced. It's uh, validated by a number of customers that we have at the moment. We've got four foundation customers worldwide, North America, Europe and Asia. That's validation. These are companies that are leaders in their industry, steel makers, power generation groups, gas utilities. They've done extensive due diligence on our company over the past two or three years. I like to say that we're running and chewing gum at the same time. We're developing a technology, but we're also um, commercializing it. It's very unique. Why? Because with the demand has the demand pool has been so strong that we've had to effectively start to commercialize it ahead of what you normally would at an earlier stage in the technology life cycle. So that's been beneficial for us because it's accelerated the scale up. Um, and so we've got technology milestones coming, declaring commerciality, and we've got effectively all the key milestones around developing our commercial projects, revenue streams, first revenues, FIDs, and you know the exciting bit, which is growing the customer base worldwide. Validated technology, significant partners, a clear opportunity and technology ready to go. Exciting times ahead for Hazer Group as shareholders. Glenn, thanks for your time. Thank you.